Yes. Thank God, sir. Thank God I'm, I finally got you. I've been trying to call you, sir. What's up? Good news, sir. Uh, you remember the, the, the investors from Germany, the ones we've been expecting to hear from uh, regarding to the multimillionaire contract? Mm -hmm. They called the company this afternoon and they said they'll, they, they'll be coming in first thing tomorrow morning so that we can seal the contract. Wait, like, you mean tomorrow, tomorrow? Yes, sir, tomorrow morning. Uh, but you, you don't seem excited to hear this news. Oh, I am very excited, but the timing, Jim, I am on my honeymoon and I can't trade it for anything. <laughs> Wait, sir, I, 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 sorry, but you seem to be forgetting that we are talking about millions here. Millions? Yes. Um, Jim, let me ask you this. Have you ever dated a girl you love so much that any time you want to have her, she tells you to wait until after marriage? Look, I know how important that meeting is, but right now, my honeymoon is very important to me. I have been waiting for years. So, so you're not listening to me. You're not listening to me. You do realize what it has, what is at what stake here. See, this, this means a lot to all of us. Jim, I trust you. I know you can handle this. I saw your potential, that is why I employed you. Sir, 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 sir. Represent me. Win the contract. I have lots of work to do here. I intend to take my wife's virginity tonight. I don't even know why I'm telling you all of this. Look, Jim, goodbye. Go take care of business. Shit. He had to call on me. What is wrong with him? Oh, no, 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 no. This is, this is not happening. Oh my God, baby. What? You are so beautiful. I can't wait to be inside of you. Really? Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do me now? What am I going to do to you? Yeah. This. This. Wait. Oh, come on, baby. Don't not again. This is our honeymoon night. Please, stop it. Okay? You don't know how scared I get whenever we are close to do this. I haven't done it before. But it's always the first time. I am your husband and we are married. It's all right. Tomorrow, you take me out. Huh? We have fun. Then get back. Do it. Huh? Tomorrow, huh? Tomorrow. But baby, I, I, I want you. I know. Tomorrow, tomorrow is close. Okay. I know, but.
Yep. I had fun. I had a blast. Oh. oh. So now. Wait, wait, wait. I want to first of all take a shower, then come out. You can do whatever you want to do, okay? Oh, I think I want a shower too. No, 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 no. No, wait. I'm shy. You're shy. I am your husband. You call me, babe. Ah, come here. <laughs> you have no. What? I thought you said you wanted to shower alone. Oh, you want me to come in? No, no. So why are you spying Sorry. on me? Hello, Frank. Hello, Mama. Good afternoon. How are you? My dear, I'm fine. No, I'm fine. How is my daughter? I've been trying to reach out to her. I cannot get her on the phone. She's fine. Eh, yeah, she's fine. That's good. So, how is the honeymoon? I hope people are really enjoying it. Mama, there's no problem. We are. We're good. Make sure that my daughter is pregnant before you bring her back home for the celebration, no? Eh? How about mama? Of course now. Nah. Let me have my grandchildren around me. Play with me. Call me grandmama before I would die. Eh? <laughs> okay. Well noted. <laughs> All right, my dear. Please, say we got to my daughter. Please tell her to call me. I've been trying to reach to her. All right, Ngwanu. Ezibuago. Hey. God bless you, my son. Oh, God. Bye. A smell that drives you away from me. Hell no. Babe, why would you ask me such question? Why have you chosen to punish me like this? Babe, please stop. What is wrong? Babe, why are you doing this again? Why? Stop it, okay? Just, just stop, please. I told you we'd do it, okay? On a very good time. I promise that. That is all you do. Promise me. Promises that you never keep. Babe, just shouting at me. Babe. You're shouting at me because of sex. What are you talking about? Huh? Hey, is this why you married me? What are you saying? You think I married you because of sex? Yes. Yes, you married me because of sex. I married you because I love you. No. You married me because you want to have access to my body. You are my wife, and I have every right to make love to you. Babe, please, just stop this. Thank you, please. I can't believe you. Babe? Babe? Are you backing me? 
Babe. I want to sleep, please. Yes, Mama. I can hear you. Um, Mama, there's something I need to tell you. Um, that's no problem, Mama. Everything is fine. It's, it's nothing serious. We are, we'll, we'll be home very soon. Yes, I know that, Mama. Very soon, don't worry, we'll, we'll come. All right, you too, Mama. Bye-bye. Thank you, babe. <laughs> babe, please don't. You know we can do this now. We can start kissing. If you do, you get hurt. You know you're gradually pushing me to the wall, right? Babe. Look, I am sorry for shouting at you earlier. I didn't mean to. Babe, you were shouting on top of your voice earlier today. You nearly beat me up. Oh, come on. I will never lay my hands on a woman. Not to talk of the love of my life. You do? You know I'll not do that. Okay, babe. I agree. We'll do it. I agree to make love with you. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. Before we do that, I would want you to do something for me. Sure. What is that? I want you, my baby, to make us love with you. Something. Oh. You want me to make us lunch? Mm hmm That's all. Girl, your wish is my command. I'll be right back. Thank you. Come here. Thank you, girl. Lunch, right? Yeah. Chef is in the building. Don't go anywhere. Do you hear what I said? Mm hmm Huh? Okay. All right. <laughs> Babe. Yes. Did you do this? No, I went to buy it outside. <laughs> this is good. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I do. You should if you want. Oh. I finished mine. Come on. You're a good cook. Thank you. Who taught you how to cook? Who taught me how to cook? Mm -hmm. Well, you know I'm the only son, so my sisters. You know what? What? You can't be doing this often. Hey, 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 hey. The fact that I cook today does not mean I'm going to be cooking all the time. You have to cook for your husband. But you said you love me, huh? I do love you. Okay, I will cook only when you're tired. With this, henceforth, I'll always be tired. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Do not do that. avoiding me since morning. Why wouldn't I avoid you? Huh? Tell me, why shouldn't I avoid you? What is wrong with you? 
Babe, you shouting at me. You've never shouted at me before. I will shout today and I will shout tomorrow. What is all this? Do I have to beg my own wife for what I paid for? What is this nonsense? Babe. Don't, 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 don't you dare baby me. Don't. Then whose fault is it? It's my fault, right? Huh? It's my fault. Is that what you're saying? Please. Don't, 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 don't you dare come close to me. Please forgive me. I was deceived. Please forgive me. It's not what you think. What do you mean you were deceived? Huh? Who deceived you? What, what are you even talking about? Oh, God. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry I had to lie to you. Please forgive me. But I had to do that. I had to lie to you to keep you. Because I didn't want you to go like other men that leave after sleeping with me and getting to know my predicament. Baby, please. I'm sorry, please. I really love you. Please. What if I cut it myself into? Babe, babe, please forgive me. Don't touch me! What are you doing here? Sister Rebecca, it's a long story. It's a long story. Lord of Jesus, <laughs> hope is not what I'm thinking. Oh, Jesus. Sister, please tell me. What happened to your marriage? What exactly happened? Because I don't seem to understand anything here. My husband left me when he found out the kind of person I am. Who are you? You are the committed and devoted sister Ella that everyone knows in the church. That's not all. I smell. Jesus. 
I became a born again Christian for a reason. My daughter, how are you feeling and how is it doing you? This is too much. I can no longer feel it. It's becoming a girl. If you are able for me, it is too much. Please come and take me to the hospital. I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't even have money. I don't even have money for Keke. So I can at least take you to the hospital. God, which kind of job is this one now? My daughter, please. My daughter, please try to anything you can do to take me to the hospital. I don't want to die. Please. The pain is too much. I cannot be it. I cannot be it anymore. Mama, I'm relaxed. Okay? I'm coming. Okay. Let me just calm down. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. Let me go and know if, if I can get some money so I can take you to the hospital. Okay, okay. my daughter. I'm coming. Oh. 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 Yes, come in. <laughs> please help me. My mom is dying. Please help me. Any amount, please help me. Please help me. I need your assistance. My mom is dying. Please. <laughs> help me. Help me, please. Um, Ella, <laughs> unfortunately, I cannot help you. <laughs> I cannot help you. Yes, <laughs> now, I've been supporting you all this while I've been giving you money. But I've told you what to do to make money, you don't want to do it. So, I'll be the one to go and hustle. Then you'll be the one collecting. <laughs> eh? Um, Ella, <laughs> as you can see, I'm preparing to go out. I cannot help you. My mommy is dying. Please help me. We don't even have money for tricycle to take her to the hospital. And sit down and help me, please. Help yourself. Ha -ha. You, you own is even better. You're not even going out there to look for, for clients. I'll be the one to connect you. See, let me tell you. You remember the last time you came? Sure, you remember. You remember that my friend that came, that, that man. The moment you left, this man said, ah, I'm ready to die for this your little girl. Ah, he likes you so much, he's willing to give you anything. He can even give you as much as 200,000. That's a lot of money. With 200,000, you take your mother to the hospital, you take care of her hospital bill, you buy her drugs, you give her good food. Then you use the remaining one to give yourself good life, take care of yourself. Yes. It's diamond. Mm -hmm. How can you even suggest that for me? I'm too young to do that kind of a thing now. Okay, you are too young for that. Eh? Me, I'm too old to be giving out money like that. Since you are too young to hustle. Me, I'm too old to be giving out money like that. Yeah? I'm the one that is good to hustle, old enough to hustle, but you, you are not good. You only to come and collect. It's not easy to make money. Oh. Me, especially, I know what I go through to make this money. Every night, you know how they hang my leg. Eh? But you only need to come and collect. <laughs> In fact, I don't even have money to go to give. Just leave my house. Leave my house, please. I want to go out. You're delaying me. Leave my house. Oh. Your mommy is dying. Some people, their own mother died a very long time ago. No, nothing is happening. Go, go, go. <laughs> go. <laughs> Mama. Mama. Helter Skelter. You are still running kitty kitty when I've told you what to do. What is wrong with you? If your mommy dies, it's your fault, oh. Eh? When you have this beautiful asset, 
when you can use it to make money to take care of yourself and your family. I've tried my best. That's all I can do for you. I cannot give you money. I can't keep giving you money now. Once, Diamond, why would you? Why do you keep on saying that? Eh, I'm too young for that now. Really? I, I can't do it. Are you younger than this, my beautiful princess here? Eh? See, you better use what you have to get what you want. Better use your sense. I was once like you. All oh, thanks to this, my auntie here. She made me who I am today. You are too young, you see. You know, it's not your time in a rush. My dear, you're very young and sweet. You better use your hair now that you're still young. Else, you regret it. It's entirely up to you. The decision is yours to make. Don't do this to me now. Hey, help me. I'm your little child, though. Are you serious? Help little me child. now. <laughs> no, please. Let me, let's go. This guy will waste our time here. Yeah? Oh, okay, wait. Let's go together now. Let's, let's go together to where? To the place where I can get the money. You cannot go like this now. You have to go and dress up. Eh? See, I already told you that man that really likes you. So you have to go and dress up. Come to my house. Then I'll take you to the man. Oh, my clothes is okay now. It's, it's fine. Go to your house. Look for that your, you know that your fine Christmas dress and your fine Christmas hair. Wear it and come to my house. That's when you've made up your mind though. Then I can take you to him. Hmm? Okay? Alright girls, let's go. Yes, who is that? Come in. Hello. Hey. Mr. Paul. Diamond. Hey. Sweetie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One more time. Yeah. <laughs> so sweet of you. Oh, thank you. Why are you looking good? Thank you as ever, you know. <laughs> That's nice of you. Yeah, thank and, you. And uh, who may I ask you? Oh. Is that that is my friend, Ella. Oh. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, Come on, loosen up. Ella, is this she, is the man I told you about. Is she new? Of course, so I might. I told you everything. Now. Really? <laughs> <laughs> bad guy, bad guy. Come, you are the hero. But I take it as my friend. is our first time. Young girls are my weakness. <laughs> it's well, <That's> okay. <clears throat> Why is your face like that? I already told you everything. Just relax. It's fine. It's nothing. Ah, it's not a big deal. You're a big girl now. You okay, should understand. Fine. <laughs> just turn around and let me just see what you look like. Come on. Come on. Come on. Round. Yeah. <laughs> Bad guy. Uh, <coughs> it's okay. Um, what is your name again? Ella. Oh, come on. Ella, come on, give Ella. me a hug, give me a hug. It's, come on, give me a hug. doesn't bite now, give me a hug. Come on, 360. Ah. Oh, don't worry, she'll get used to it. Of course, get used I know, to I know, it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, okay, let's go. Oh, please, Paul. I so, beg you again. Mm -hmm. Take it easy with her. Ah, uh, leave that to me. It's her first time, Mo. Paul is the big daddy. He'll take good care of her. Come okay. on, let me go give you a good um, treat. Ella, don't worry. You know that that thing I told that money I told you, he will pay into your account. Hmm? So you guys should have fun. <laughs> I'll see you later, okay? Okay, lady. Take care, baby girl. Be a good girl. Oh. <laughs> Be a good girl. Don't worry. Yeah. Bye. 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 Yo. Come on, come on, take it easy. Don't worry. Easy. Come on. That will make you happy. That's it. It's now your account. 200,000 naira. Will that make you happy? Don't touch me! Why? Why? I thought we would consented to this. So when you discovered you were smelling, did you go back to that lady that took you there? Eh? 
Yes, I did. Okay. I told Diamond. She personally took me to the man's house to confront him. Huh. How is this terrible smell coming from? Ah. They are the daily soccer way. Open here. Ah. But this thing has been. Ah. It's ever since you came in, that's when I started perceiving this very terrible odor. This is what I've been complaining to you about, Auntie Diamond. I need help. The smell is coming from me. What? I need help. I'm dying in silence. Can you believe that the, uh, after the uh, experience I had with that man, after the man slept with me, I've been going through some... Uh, my life is shattered. Eh? I've been having discharge, itchings, and it smells badly. Hmm. I can't even proudly walk past someone without the person saying I, I, I'm smelling. I need help, please. I need help. You need to help me, Aunt Diamond, please. What are your body smelling? It's smelling oh. Hmm. Ha, ha. So you were serious? I thought I, I I didn't know you were this serious. Honestly, I thought probably it was just maybe infection that I could just go and treat. It's not infection. It's no infection because I've been to different hospitals to treat myself. But it's not working. I, I think that man is a ritualist. Why though. would Paul do a thing like this? This is mm, this is pure wickedness. Terrible. How can anybody have mind to do this kind of thing to a fellow human being? Eh? Hmm. Eh, but if you I don't know what I, I still think you, I don't know why it's I'm finding it difficult to believe this thing. Maybe it's infection. I never can tell. Diamond is not infection. Eh? Besides, even that first day you took me to that man's house, my spirit never accepted him. No, this is bad. Don't worry. Let me just dress up. Eh? Let me dress up so we'll go, go there immediately. By the time I talk to him, I'll look straight in his eyes. If he's the one, I will know. Eh? And he's actually the one. Ah, Don't worry, just leave it to me. I will deal with him. Please help me. Ah, this is too bad now. Ah, ah. Hey. Diamond, are you sure you don't want to have anything? I don't. We don't want to eat or drink anything. Why? We are not here for pleasantries. As a matter of fact, I will go straight to the point. I brought my friend here because she told me that ever since she slept with you, she's been having this issue. Some things moving around her body. This terrible discharge and very bad odor coming up from her body. How come? She never had anybody odor since she met you. Please, whatever you did to her, undo it. Diamond, how is that supposed to be my problem? Are you asking me that? Yes, now. How is it not supposed to be your problem? She started having this issue from the day she slept with you. And you're asking me how is that supposed to be your problem? Really? Uh, Mr. Paul? Uh, Please, Ella, tell him everything you told me at home. Since the last time you slept with me, I've been experiencing some dirty, dirty movements in my body. I have discharge, foul smell, and I've been to different hospitals. I've taken lots of medications to heal myself. Well, it's not working. I think it's mere infection, and you guys are not treating it well. And moreover, I met the only person she slept with. Of course, you are the only one she slept with. Oh, come. Ever since nice. she slept with, she has not. I brought her to you. So? I can attest for her, I brought her to you. So? So you are the only one she slept with. You have to do something about it. Please, oh, I don't want problem. You know me, I don't like problem. I don't want problem. Because if anything happens to her now, it will be linked to me and I don't want that. If you know what you did, undo it, Mr. Paul, for peace to reign. Diamond. Paul. Diamond. Paul. Listen. If you both don't have something reasonable to talk about or to say, please, you can kiss the door. Now. <laughs> so you are indirectly calling me jobless because I came here to point your sins at you, right? Please, oh, whatever you did to her, undo it. Undo it. You know, if I give you, if I give you, if I give you hit in this time, you won't stay, you run away. Me? Yes. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Please, 
Diamond, that's the door. Both of you, out. So you're walking me out, huh? If you like, out. Fine. I will go. But let me tell you, if you don't undo what you did to her, I will come back for you. And I will show you the other side of Diamond that you don't know. You're threatening me? Babe, let's go. Okay. <laughs> My dear, that young lady is not innocent. I believe she has hand in what is happening to you. She collided with that man. Yes. I don't think so. No one can actually be trusted. Hmm? No one. So, tell me, what later happened? Since then, any man that comes to marry me, once he sleeps with me and finds out I smell, he runs far away without looking back. And that is the reason why I ran back to church to become a devoted born again Christian. Even the pastor doesn't know who I am. The pastor doesn't know what I was going through. No, Frank, just have to have patience. Should be here soon. Okay, Pastor. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you, my daughter? Sit down. Brother Frank. <coughs> what we were discussing before she came in. Ever since you told me of your intention to set it. Went into deep prayer and fasting on behalf of me. And the Holy Spirit ministered to me directly of who I should choose to be your bride. And I have no other person than Sister Ella here. She's a devoted member in my ministry, she's a sanctuary keeper in my ministry. She cleans, she sweeps. First thing in the church, she's there. She's always strong. And the Holy Spirit in me know that she is going to be a good wife to you. Um, Pastor, yes, if the Holy Spirit says she's my wife, I will do just as the Holy Spirit says. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Ella, you say you have something to tell me. Please, yes, let us hear. Thank you. Pastor, you know these days, men like to sleep with the women they want to get married to before marrying them. And you know, as a powerful, prayerful, and spiritual Christian I am, Jesus, Pastor, I don't think I'm ready to succumb to such temptation. And besides, you never can tell if he's one of those men. He will not do that. Or do you do that? I will never take advantage of her. I mean, I will wait till whenever she's ready. My daughter. Pastor. You know your pastor for years. And I will not allow you, I will not lead you astray. I'm your spiritual father. I'm your daddy in the Lord. I should guide you. And that is what I am doing. Within a short period, I knew Brother Frank. He has been good and he has been of a good standard. So I will not recommend him to you if he's not good. Okay, so if you go down, please let me pray for you. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. When Frank came to marry me, I told him I was never going to have anything to do with him until our wedding. Let me call my son in and tell him that I've seen a house. So. Hey, so finally I can leave this house. God, you're wonderful. Though. Ah, he's ringing. Hello, Frank, my son in law. My in law, my in law. Mm. 
I know you're still enjoying your honeymoon no, with my daughter. My in law, eh? I'm sorry to bother you. I know that this is not the right time to call you. But it's because of that house that I said I should look for so that I can park away from this house. Uh, the agent have seen one house that he showed me yesterday and that one is very 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 big and fine and I like that one. So that's why I said let me call you so that you can send me the money so I will give the agent to go and pay for me. See, the agent said that if I don't hurry up, another person will take the house. So that's why I'm calling you. I know it's not the right time to call no, but please, um, so let me know when I can get the money so that I can give the agent. Frank said I should not call his number again. Wait, though. Did I make a mistake? This is Frank's number now. My son in law. Ah. I don't understand. This one that I said I should not call him again. I hope all is well with my daughter. This is strange. This is very strange. My son in law have never spoken to me like this before. Even. Ah. I should not call him again. Never in my life. Miss, I need to call my daughter. Jesus! What are you doing? Do you want to kill yourself? Do you want to commit suicide? My dear. See, suicide is not an option. Are you hearing me? Suicide is not an option at all. Not suicide. It's called a sweet death. Is there anything like sweet death? Yes. At least I achieved my desire of being married. I know how it feels to be a married woman. I married the man of my dreams, the man I love. There is nothing left of me. Please let me do myself. Oh, no. No woman is permitted to take his or her own life. <laughs> Don't you have faith in God again? I understand your pain. You will not die. <laughs> now give it to me. <laughs> My dear, you just need to know that all hope is not lost. Okay? Just keep having faith. Trust in God. And things will work out just fine. Okay? Life has not. Who is that? That's my mom. Your mom? Yes. Why did you end the call? My dear, you need to pick that call. Eh? Pick her call. Because she could be worried about you. Probably she wants to hear your voice. She's not answering. Let me call her again. You see? It's obvious she's worried about you. She's still not picking. Hey! I hope my daughter is well. I hope she's still alive. Okay? What could the problem be now? She's not picking her call and I've been calling her. Who would I call? Diamond. Ella, how are you? Hmm, I'm fine. Um, I'm sorry I have not called you in a while. I heard your husband divorced you. You heard where? I'm sorry about that. All thanks to you. This is always what you've always wanted. No, don't talk like that. What can your sorry do? Will your sorry bring back my home? Will your sorry bring back my husband, my handsome husband? Huh? 
Will your sorry bring or restore back my body? I smell badly. Will your sorry heal it? I thought you were what you say you are. I, I, thought, I thought you meant you meant well for me. I always confide in you for everything. What have I done wrong? What did I ever do to you? You connived with that spiritual man friend of yours to destroy my life, to destroy my home. Why? See, I understand how hot you are. I understand your feelings. Honestly, I do. So you don't know anything? Honestly, I do. See what will happen. We will pray. I mean, I will pray about it. And I believe God will give us a solution to this problem. Diamond, you pray. Wait, you even carrying the Holy Bible, the Holy Book, so and scarf too. I wonder she'll never end. I wonder how many souls you've destroyed with your deceitful lifestyle. But you know what? I promise you, the evil men do lose with them. But you see you, you will suffer for everything you did to me. Look at me, what am I living for? My life is destroyed. I'm shattered. I don't have a home. I don't have a husband because of you, Diamond. I live for nothing. But I promise you, she will not go scot free. You will suffer for all the pains you cost me. Ella, don't so, Ella, Ella, please listen to me, Ella. <laughs> What is that? Come in. Good evening, Brother Paul. Uh -uh. Diamond! Um, sorry, Sister Martha. Oh, Sister Martha? Yes. How come? <laughs> I've given my life to Christ, so. Whoa! Same old story. Okay, okay, okay. What can I do for. Sister Mata. Um, please, I have come to see you for something very important. Really? Yes, can okay. I? Sit down. Thank you. Sit down. Um, but I Paul. Yes. I came here to see you for something very important. Yes. Okay. It's about my friend Ella. Okay. You know I have confronted you before now concerning her issue. Mm -hmm. But please, I am here to beg you again. Just some days ago, I saw her and she told me a whole lot. Please, whatsoever you hold dear, in the name of God, please. How do you mean? You know, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean. What are you talking about? I, I, I came here, I told you about what she has been passing through. Like what? Why are you pretending like you don't know what I'm talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. I came to you here and I told you that ever since this left with my friend, she has been smelling, she has been oozing and she still has that ailment. Why are you acting like you don't know what I'm talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Whatever you did to her, undo it. That girl has gone through a lot. Now I see. You're looking at me, or you're insinuating I'm a ritualist, right? Sister Mata. You and I know each other way, way back. Then, I used to tell you the truth. Now, I'm telling you the truth. I know nothing about what is happening to your friend. Honestly, sincerely, I know nothing about it. I only observed it. But it's not my making. It's not my making. I don't know how it happens. Interesting. Listen. I've had several marriages, several, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not even six and seven. No issue, no child came out of it. In that case, Brother Paul, I think you are under a highly spiritual problem. Really? Yes. <sighs> okay, I will help you. I'll take you to my pastor. Pastor? I'm sure by the time he prays for you, God will reveal to him whatever the problem is. Oh, 
Sister Martha, I'm tired of all these pastors, 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 pastors. All they have done is eat, they keep eating my money. And at the end of the back to school, what? So, what are we? Oh, I don't know. I understand. Even before I genuinely encountered Christ, I passed through the same thing. I encountered a lot of fake pastors. But I am telling you, I'm assuring you that this man, this is my pastor, if you go to him, the Holy Spirit will reveal everything. By the time he prays for you, he will see everything, whatever be the problem. You know, the Bible says that the secret of the kingdom is revealed to those that love him. Holy Spirit will reveal everything to him. Trust me on that. You sure? Of course. Cross your heart. Let's go in. It's okay. Let's go in. So, Mama, that is it. That is what I've been going through. How can you be going through so much pain? You didn't bother to tell me your own mother. How can you be in such situation? And you kept it away from me. I'm sorry, Mama. I just never wanted to disturb you with my issues. I thought I could handle this, but, but it's beyond me. I can't. Ella, am I no longer your own mother? Do you have another mother? How can you say that you didn't want to bother your own mother? You know that you're, you're the only thing I have in this world. You know you're the only thing I live for. Hmm. No wonder. No wonder why Frank was so rude to me on the phone. He even told me never to call his line again. I knew that something was wrong. I knew that something was totally wrong somewhere. So where is it now? Frank abandoned me. He abandoned me in the apartment to wait for our honeymoon. And he even said it's over between us. But at least, Mama, I'm happy. You're happy? Yes. How I'm do you happy. mean? I'm happy that I got married. How can you tell me that you're happy in this situation? How can you be happy that you're married and you're already divorced? How? Mama, I'm happy. I'm happy I'm married on time before I will at least die. So I know if I'm dying, I'll die in peace. Don't ever speak about death. How can you die when your mother is still alive? You will not die, my child. You will not die. Nothing will happen to you. No mother will ever live to bury any of her children. 
It is the duty of the children to bury their mother, not the other way around. How can you speak about death? Mama, I'm dying. I'm dying. I can't hold it anymore. I'm dying. You want to go to bed? It's okay, my child. It's okay. God will not allow you to die. God will not abandon you. will not allow you to die. <coughs> it's okay. Let's pray. Let me pray for you. And you will be healed because I know that my God, I know that the God of the helpless will never forsake his children. I know he will never abandon us in this situation. I know he's a miracle working God. They call him the zero hour working God. They call him the healer, the great physician. He will not allow my daughter to die. Let us pray. Oh, Father in heaven, the miracle working God, the ancient of days, the ancient work of ages. I know you're a great healer. You will never forsake and abandon your children in time of trouble. Please, Lord. My daughter will never die. She will live. She will live long as you have promised. There is no sickness that you cannot cure. And there is no problem you cannot provide solution to. Please, Father, heal my daughter. And all glory shall be given unto your holy name. Hello? Hello, who is here? Anybody home? House? Anybody home? Yes, I'm Any here. Oh, good day, madam. Good day to you too. Please, I'm actually looking for somebody. And who could that be? Grace! Is this you? Oh, thank God. I've been searching for you all over the place. Grace, please. My life is in shambles. Paul. Yes, it's me. Me. Paul. Yes. What are you doing in my house? Oh, I've come to meet you. My life has been in shambles. As I've been searching, I bumped you into a friend who described this very location for me that you live in here. And that's why I'm here. Get out. Oh, don't do it. Mama! Grace, it's not so. Please. Leave my please. house! Please, Grace, I beg you. Please, let me talk. You. You know him? Yes. Yes, I know him. This is the man, the ritualist I told you about. What? Yes. This can't be. This is your father. My father? Yes. Mama? <laughs> this man here, my father. This is the reason why I'm back to this house. This man is the reason why my husband drew me out from his house. And this man you call my father, is the ritualist that slept with me and gave me an incurable disease. Hey! You call him my father! Paul, you have killed me. Paul, you have killed me! How could you? How could you sleep with your own daughter? Paul, how could you. What do you mean? My daughter? Yes, your daughter! Please. Grace, please forgive me now. Please. Try and forgive me. Just try. What happened was just in the past. I was too young then. And naive. Please, for all time's sake, or whatever it is, just forgive. You know, to air is human and to forgive is divine please paul you're wicked you're heartless you're evil so now you know that to air is human paul when you raped me you did not know that to air is human see grace grace i've been asking you for quite a long time now but you haven't given me the answer 
See, Grace, I love you so much. Grace, I love you from the bottom of my heart. Grace, can you see that? I can't sleep a moment without thinking about you. See, brother Paul, I'm not interested. I've told you before, I'm not interested at all. All what I'm thinking right now is how to go to school. How to sell this my pure business and go to school. Please, I'm not interested. That is what I'm trying to make you understand. Dating me can't stop you from going to school. I'm not interested. Is it by force? I'm not interested. Ah. Okay, I, I will assist Stop disturbing me now. I'm not interested. I want to go to school. I will assist you in school. Please, I don't want to. Grace, Alpha. It's like we are going to serve. Yes. Okay, and um, Grace, I will need two bags of pure water. Okay, but please, yeah, pure water is no longer 150, it's 200. 200? Yes. Uh, it's not a problem. Just bring it. See, okay. um, I don't have pure water at home. Okay. Please, just okay. hasten up. Okay. Right, sir. Be fast. I'll be waiting for you. All right. Brother Paul. Brother Paul. Grace. Yes. The pure water is here. Okay. I'm coming. Okay. Hey, bring it this way. Don't worry, come. Yeah, drop it. Um, drop it. Uh, bro, what are you doing? Give me my money, I want to go. Okay, What are you doing, Abrapo? I don't like it. What are you doing? I'm pregnant. Eh? What is it? I'm pregnant for you. You are pregnant? Are you mad? No, are, are you mad or something? Why, why would you bring me to this place to tell me you are pregnant? Which car is less pregnant? See this pure tassel out. So for your mind now, you want this pregnancy to tell me. See you, dirty, dirty thing. I don't know even know what I'm doing with you. So for your mind, I will bring myself low. God get you with your pregnancy. God forbid. I'm coming to your house. Yeah. See, if I see you from my house, eh? if I see you anywhere close to my family house, eh, I swear to God, I will kill you. I will break your leg. You're mad. You raped me and you got me pregnant and you're denying it. You're very stupid. Okay. got me pregnant and deny it. <laughs> Any woman you sleep with will be smelling. Women will begin to run away from you that no woman will be able to live with you. When you abandoned me, when you denied me, you did not know that to hate you. Man. Please, just try and forgive me. I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot. Please, try and forgive me. Because of what you did to me, I hated men with all my life. But I vowed never to be married to any man because of you. I am single today all because of what you did to me. But look at me. Look at me. I am still single. The only child that I have, the only thing that I live for on this earth, you destroyed her for me. Paul, you will suffer. It shall not be well with you. Paul, you will suffer. Please, forgive me. Try and forgive me. I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot. My life has been in shambles. I've been through several marriages. All the women, they never gave me any child. Oh. Honey? Hmm. Hmm? Honey, wake up! Hmm? Hmm? 
Can you perceive any smell? Mm. Honey. What? Can you can you perceive any smell? Is it morning? Oh. What is it? I don't know. Can you perceive any smell? Smell? Hmm? My body smells. Since the last time you slept with me, I've been noticing some movement in my body. Now it smells. Huh? Huh? What? Huh? What? You're not saying anything. Uh, not to worry. All right? It's mere infection. It's a simple thing. I uh, will see the family doctor. On uh, my way to the office, I'll take you along. I'll drop you there. He'll just treat you. Give you a couple of drugs. You take it regularly. And that'll be the end of it. Okay? Don't fret about it. Come on, baby. Promise me. Okay? Come on, close your eyes. I like smelling. Come on, let's go and freshen up. Come on, come on. Let's go. to me like what what have you done to me my whole body is smelling what have you done to me like what what have you done to me the best man. you are the first man that has ever slept with me and I've not had infection ever in my life so what have you done to me come on come on Rosie this is not time to complain let us look for a solution. Once we have a solution, then we'll go for it. Alright? I've taken all the whole drugs. I've taken all the whole drugs for crying out loud. And it's not working. I think this is spiritual. No. You come better on, find come a solution on. to it. I've said my We'll own. change up chop. We'll try something. Please, Rose. Please. Please, come on, baby. Please, now. Huh? Please. Stay with me now. Huh? Come on. Go away. I am you now? leaving you. I'm not just leaving you, but God will judge you. God will judge you because I married you a virgin. Now you destroyed my life. I stink. I stink. You are an evil man. I am leaving you to go and find solution to what you have put me through. Let me go and face my life. Please, Rose, stay with me. Rose! 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 Rose. <laughs> ah, another one bust to dust. Oh, another one. Ah! Who have I offended? Why is this happening to me? All in circles. All! Even the one I'm with now has packed out of my house. I've been through a lot. All what I made in life, all gone. It took just one of her friends that told me what is happening. Even to her. You see? I was there referred to a pastor who told me what is going on. That it's a curse placed on me by you. Please forgive me. I will never forgive you. Please. I swear. I swear with my life. God will punish you for what you did to me. God will punish you for what you did to me for the best you cost me and my mother. Please. Mama, I want this ritual is out from this house now. Try and forgive me. If you don't forgive me, it will be such a terrible thing. The moment you forgive me, the jinx will be broken. Every other woman I've slept or married, even your daughter, the jinx will be broken. And things will be normal again.
Mom, he wants to marry you. Never. Mom, I want you to forgive him and marry him. How can you even say such? How can you ask me to marry a man that raped me? A man that caused me so much pain in my life. A man that made me to go through hell. How can you? A man that even slept with his own daughter. I will never forgive him. Not even talk of marrying him. Mommy, I know all of that. And don't also forget I'm involved in this. If you don't forgive him, I will continue to live in this sickness. Please, mommy, forgive him. That's the only way out. Please, for my sake. I will never forgive him. I won't. Okay. Like it? That's good. That's especially for you. Thank you. <laughs> and how about you? Have you had a sip? Yes, Dad. No, no, take another one. Let me see. Aha! It's down your throat. <laughs> Just like me. Don't let it go the wrong way. Don't let it go the wrong way. That's my girl. <laughs> ah, I feel so happy. I feel so excited. I feel like I'm on top of the world. My life is just complete. With the two missing bones back in place, I'm excited. Mm. I want to thank you all. I want to thank you both. I want to thank you both. Ah, you see, I've just learned a great lesson in life. That those who live in glass house should not throw stones. Exactly. And that this world is not a bed of roses. Yeah. All right? And again, when they pray, may your road be rough, you never know what it means. Exactly. Come on, give me a big smile. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs>